Okay, so to make a paper mache pumpkin, what you're going to need is flour, lots of strips of paper, um, like flyers or newspaper, a balloon of any size, and this is the paste. What you have to do is put some flour in there and then just mix the water and then I will show you the first step. Okay, so this is some leftover um, stuff that I used from before for the thing that I made. But what you do is you dip it in and then you put it on the balloon and you just keep on doing the strips until your whole balloon is covered and then when the first layer dries you do two three four five six layers however thick and hard you want your pumpkin to be and yeah so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the big pumpkin that me and Mason have made we are on our third layer of paper mache it so we unfortunately have to let it dry for about I don't know maybe 24 hours it's pretty wet so I'm gonna go and show you the one that we did okay so this is the big balloon that I blew up for me and Mason to do and we have covered it in about three layers now you have to remember to keep the balloon um, tip out so that when the hole outside of it is hard you can pop this and the balloon will deflate so after this is dry I will show you guys the next step okay so this is what the balloon looks like when it is finished it's rock hard it doesn't even move um, unfortunately our balloon popped over night for some reason I guess maybe the heat so we didn't get a chance to pop that but when you do come to that all you have to do is snip it and it'll pop inside and now it's just empty and this is also the same way that they make pinatas because this could be a really funky pinata you just fill the candy and yeah it's finished and you decorate and whatever so anyways this is the ball um, it didn't really flatten at the bottom so I'm not too sure how good it's gonna stand anyways so for this stem I'm going to use a paper or toilet paper roll um, I'm just gonna paint this brown and then you can sort of like shove it in there I guess or something like that sort of and then I don't know you could trim it or you could cover this and you can put some like like a leaf or whatever you want so anyway so I'm going to go and paint this orange and that brown and maybe let Mason put a face on it and then I will show you guys what it looks like when it's completely finished sorry this may not be the best lighting it looks like it's gonna like pour rain here and it's pretty dark out today and don't mind the mess um, I have to get rid of that so so yeah I'll show you guys what the pumpkin looks like when it's painted and finished and yeah okay so the paints I'm going to be using is brown for the stem sparkly orange for the pumpkin and then black for the face these are just um, regular paints or acrylic paints, I guess. Yeah, acrylic paint. Um, they dry like really quick and they're going to work good. Okay, so once it's painted, this is what it's going to look like. Unfortunately, I bought a paint that has glitter in it. So, as you can see you can still see the flyers through the pumpkin so I would actually recommend you don't buy a glitter or paint probably buy the brightest darkest oranges you can orange paint you can buy without sparkles um, so for the top all I did was shove the paper towel roll in there tape, uh, painted it brown snipped the top a little bit doesn't really look like a stem but whatever and um, then you just paint like whatever face you want on it you could use googly eyes you could paint it you could 
use paper cutouts, and uh, you could do whatever you like. So this is our paper mache pumpkin, and it is sort of wet right now, but I wanted to be able to show you guys. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this little craft idea, and if you make one of these, um, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching my video, and see you next time. Bye.